Welcome to Angus. In this video, we will create a new student for our database and highlight some of the time saver functions unique to the Angus program. These functions help to make Angus user friendly and save your valuable time. We begin on the student's page where your student details are entered. Currently, I have the details of the student Melissa Hutchings in view. Now let's assume that Melissa has a sibling that would also like to commence lessons. If we click on the copy button in student actions, a pop-up window titled copy details from an existing student will appear on the screen. If I now double click on Melissa's name within the student list, her details will automatically be carried through to the appropriate fields for the sibling. I can now proceed to enter the given name of the new student and any other details that I wish to save. In this case, I'm going to record David's date of birth into the notes section. So I enter the relevant information. And I now click Save in Student Actions followed by OK. And David has now been saved into the system and his name also appears in the student list to the left hand side of the screen. I can now proceed to enter David's parent details into the parent details table by clicking on the plus button and a pop-up window titled parent linkage will appear on the screen. Now this means that Angus assumes as David is a sibling of Melissa's that we will be applying the details of the same two parents to the table. In this case I agree that both Nikki Hutchings and Ronan Hutchings are also David's parents. So if I click save their details will automatically be carried through into the parent details table for me. You will also notice that Angus has recognised David's sibling of Melissa. I can now proceed to enter the details of David's lessons into the each week on these days table. To do so I click on the plus button and a pop-up window titled attendance days will appear on the screen. Now I've decided that David will attend lessons on a Thursday at the time of 3 p.m. and I'm going to apply my default amount of $30 to the lesson that I've previously saved under my preferences. I click save followed by OK and this information has now been recorded into the each week on these days table. Now if we view the attending on table below we can see the weeks, the dates, the times, the days and amounts all related to David's lessons for the current term. The dates that appear within this table have been previously created via my period setup. I can now view David's current invoice by clicking on the magnifying glass to the right hand side of the screen and a pop-up window will display his current invoice for me. We can see the weeks related to his lessons for the current term the dates and days of his lessons, the weekly charged amount and the total amount due is listed at the top right hand corner of his invoice. The lower section of the invoice is reserved for our terms and conditions and any bank account details that we have saved under our preferences. We can now close the pop-up window and once again return to the students page. Now let's assume that I've forgotten to add the details of another item to David's invoice. To do so, I click on the Other Items tab of the Invoices section and I click on the plus button. A pop-up window titled Other Items will now appear on the screen and I can proceed to enter the details of the other item that I wish to add to his invoice. If I click on the calendar button, I can select the date, which in this case is going to be the 9th of March. I click select and I enter the description. In this case a club swimming costume for the total amount of $25. I click save followed by OK and this information has been saved and it is also recorded in the invoices table for me. Now if I once again return to view his invoice we can see that it has been amended and we will see in the other items section of his invoice the mention that on the 9th of March David was issued with a club swimming costume for the total amount of $25 and his total amount due has been increased accordingly. We can close the pop-up window and return once again to the students page. 
Now at any given time, if we click on the History tab of the Invoices section, we can see the information related to the invoices that have been created to date for our student. We can see that invoice number 117 was the original invoice we created for the current term for David. And invoice number 118 is the amended invoice showing the other item on his invoice. Now it's important to know that it is always the most recent invoice that is the one that is emailed to your student via the bulk email function. Now our timetable has automatically been generated for us via the information that has been entered in the each week on these days table and the dates that appear within the attending on table. To view our timetable and see where David is situated within our timetable, we click on the timetables icon in the top banner and our timetables will automatically be displayed on the screen for us. Now the timetables that show on the screen to date are listed in 30 minute increments and if we view Thursday we can see that David appears in the 3 o'clock time slot and his full name will appear in the yellow tooltips. Now let's assume it is the end of the current invoicing period and we wish to view a summary statement to see the current balances of all of our students. All we have to do is click on the summaries icon in the top banner followed by the summary statement tab. We select the appropriate invoicing period in the window to the right hand side of the screen and we click the calculate button. Angus will now automatically create a summary statement for us for our current invoicing period. And we can see on the table on the screen the names of all of our students will appear, the amounts that they were originally invoiced for, any other items that have been added to their invoice, any payments that have occurred and their current balances as they stand to date. Now it's important to know that any outstanding balances or overpayments will automatically be carried through to your next terms invoicing period if you have previously selected the option under your preferences page. Now we can return to the students page and make any other further additions that we need to. And as you can see Angus is an intuitive program designed for the small business operator with a regular clientele. Using Angus will save you time by using the automated invoicing and timetables function. Various other features of the Angus program can be viewed in our other demonstration videos.